Bravo! Chico canta bravo! Chico Canta and his mouse family lived in an old theater. In their cozy home, they listened to orchestras play, to actors and actresses sing, and to audiences clap. Sometimes the audience clapped for a long time, shouting, Bravo! Bravo! in Italian, which means they liked the show. Hurry, hurry! Pronto, pronto! sang Mrs. Canta. Tonight we're going to see the play, The Three Little Pigs. She clapped her hands together and sang, Let's form a line, una fila, por favor. Mrs. Canta, who was round as a top, liked to sing and to speak many languages, English, Spanish, and Italian. Mrs. Canta spoke to animals too. She could speak cricket, spider, and moth. Mrs. Kanta loved to see her 12 children line up tallest to smallest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, said Mrs. Kanta. Where is Chico? Not again, sighed Chico's 11 brothers and sisters. Tiny Chico Canta was never where he should be at the end of the line. Sometimes he was sleeping in his little bed. Sometimes he had crawled into the cookie jar. Sometimes he was hanging from the lampshade. Chico, sang Mrs. Canta as everyone scurried through the house, opening cabinets and looking behind curtains. Chico was on top of the hat rack. Chico Canta, said Mrs. Canta. Chico climbed down and ran to the end of the line. All of his brothers and sisters frowned, and one of them pulled his tail. Dressed in her prettiest dress, Mrs. Kanta peeked out of their house to make sure that the kitten, Little Gato Gato, was not close by. Little Gato Gato, who lived in the theater, looked like a small orange tiger. Quickly, the Kanta family scurried up the stairs. With their friends, the crickets, spiders, and moths, they watched the curtains rise, the lights twinkle, and the musicians play. They laughed when the three little pigs built their houses out of straw, sticks, and bricks. Chico pretended he was the big bad wolf and tried to blow his brothers and sisters over. Chico Canta, whispered Mrs. Canta. She put her foot softly on his tail so he couldn't run around. Chico smiled and then tried to blow her over. When the play ended, the audience clapped a long time. The Kanta family clapped too. Bravo! Bravo! Everyone shouted. With all the clapping, the Kantas didn't hear little Gato Gato moving closer. Meow! Meow! said little Gato Gato. Eek! Eek! squeaked the Kantas. Hurry, hurry, pronto, pronto, said Mrs. Canta. The Cantas ran as fast as they could. Little Gato Gato was right behind them. Chico was ready to blow little Gato Gato over like big bad wolf. But just in time, Mrs. Canta picked Chico up and carried him into their safe home. That night, tucking each of their little ones into their beds, Mr. and Mrs. Canta softly sang, Dulce sueños, sweet dreams. Chico yawned and sang, Dulce sueños, sweet dream. Bilingual, said Mrs. Canta. Bravo! The next morning, the Cantas began practicing. They liked to put on their own place for their family and friends who lived in the theater. Mr. Kanta, a fine tailor and carpenter, whistled while he sewed costumes and built scenery for their new play, The Three Little Pigs. Mr. Kanta sewed a wolf costume, three pig costumes, three flower costumes, and four tree costumes. He also sewed one very tiny sun costume. Bow wow, growled Chico. I'm going to be the big bad wolf. Right, Mama? 
Wolves don't say bow wow, laughed one of Chico's brothers. Dogs say bow wow. His other brothers and sisters giggled. How smart you are, Chico, said Mrs. Cantha. You can speak Spanish, Italian, and dog too. Little Gato Gato would be scared of you if you growled bow wow. Chico's brothers and sisters giggled again. We have a special part for you to play, said Mrs. Kanta. I love special parts, said Chico. We know you do, said Mrs. Kanta. Mr. Kanta showed Chico the post he had made so Chico could be the tallest mouse in the play. Chico put on his sun costume and climbed to the top. Chico's brothers and sisters looked up at him and smiled. Chico beamed. Every day the contest practiced the three little pigs. Mrs. Kanta directed their animal friends. She whispered, chirp, chirp, to the crickets who played the music. Chirp. She whispered, pss, pss, to the spiders who raised the curtain and moved the lights. She whispered, whoosh, whoosh, to the moths who practiced leading the audience to their seats. Chico liked to help Mrs. Kanta direct. He whispered, chirp, chirp, pss, Bilingual, said Mr. Kanta. Bravo! Finally, it was time for the Kanta family special night. They invited all their relatives who lived in the theater to see their play. Grandmothers and grandfathers, aunts and uncles, first cousins and second cousins, third cousins and fourth cousins. They did not invite little Gato Gato. Mrs. Kanta whispered, zzz to the fireflies to turn on the flashing sign. She whispered whoosh, whoosh, to the moths to take everyone to their seats. She whispered chirp, chirp to the crickets to start playing the music. She whispered pss, pss, to the spiders to get ready to raise the curtain on the small stage. Let's form a line. Una fila, por favor, sang Mrs. Canta. I have one big bad wolf three little pigs, three flowers, four trees, and, Mrs. Kanta said, where is my son? Where is Chico? Not again, sighed Chico's brothers and sisters. Mr. Kanta found Chico smiling at himself in the mirror. When the curtain went up, Chico Kanta waved at everyone from his perch. He bowed and said, buenas noches, good evening. He raised his hands and directed the audience, who answered, Buenas noches. Good evening. Bilingual, said Chico Canta. Bravo! The play started and the audience laughed and laughed when the little pigs built their houses out of straw, sticks, and bricks. On his perch, Chico began to look around. He looked up and down. He looked to the right and to the left. All of a sudden, in the shadows on the other side of a low wall, Chico saw something move. While everyone was laughing at the big bad wolf, Chico saw something coming closer and closer. Eek! Little Gato! yelled Chico, pointing at the shadows. Bow wow! growled Chico in his loudest voice. Then he quickly directed the audience, who growled, Bow wow! Bow wow! Bow wow! Little Gato jumped and ran away as fast as he could. Everyone clapped for a long time. Chico bowed and bowed. Bilingual! Everyone cheered. Bravo, Chico Canta, bravo! The end.